to Forensics Detectors. Welcome, folks. I am Dr. Cos, your guest me, the gas analyzer and gas detector expert, folks. And today we're talking about the best top three air quality meters that you must have. Folks, before we talk about indoor air quality, we have to talk about outdoor air quality, outdoor air quality, because outdoor air is coming in. I encourage you to use your free resources from the EPA. There is a air quality station next to you. I guarantee it. Go to the EPA website, check it up and see what your air quality is around you. You're gonna see ozone, nitrogen dioxide, we're gonna see carbon monoxide and many others. And you're gonna get a starting awareness of what the outdoor environment looks like in your local area, folks. That's the first thing you must do. I love it when people say, oh, blah, blah, blah. No, check your outdoor air quality first, folks, because outdoor quality, which is sort of fresh air, we're talking about fresh air being outdoors, it comes inside. So you want to double check to make sure, indeed, it is fresh air. Next, folks, we have indoor air quality. Dr. Cars, what's the most important thing I have to look at for indoor air quality, folks? It's carbon monoxide, the first target gas that you must keep on your radar is carbon monoxide. What does that mean? It means make sure the carbon monoxide detector you have already at home installed is operational. Have you changed the batteries? Have you pressed that test button? Have you changed it? Is it a fresh detector? Make sure it's functioning, folks. It's your responsibility. And that is oh, with all these years of experience. That's the most important. Carbon monoxide is lethal, folks. I've seen too much. I've been affected. Next, folks, look, car, uh, Forensics Detectors offers low level carbon monoxide detectors to complement the ones you already have. The standard ones, these are low level detectors that alarm at 25 parts per million at 60 seconds, much faster than the regular carbon monoxide detectors. That's the J001, this is the D001. Again, low level carbon monoxide. Very important, folks. You have to ask yourself, do you want your children, your mum, dad, yourself to be alarmed much earlier? The answer always, most likely, is yes. Get yourself low level carbon monoxide detectors, folks. Be aware not only for the home, folks, very important. Maybe you want to get our aeroplane vehicle detector. And there are other detectors for Airbnb, a travel detector, folks, a hotel, and other confined spaces. Be smart, folks. Think about that situation. Okay, let's go next. Number two. Carbon dioxide, folks. We're living in a new world, folks. COVID-19 world. That's why carbon dioxide is very important these days. Dr. Kaz, what are you talking about? Carbon dioxide, isn't it? Carbon monoxide or what? No, it's a different beast. Carbon monoxide, CO, and you have carbon dioxide, CO2. Carbon dioxide exists in Mother Nature at about 400 parts per million in the outdoors, folks. In the indoor environment, if we're not exhaling, it's also going to be 400 ppm. But it sort of increases because we're breathing. We're exhaling carbon dioxide. Therefore, it's not going to be 400 parts per million. It's going to be above 400 parts per million. Depends on a few factors. Number one, how many people are in the indoors? What's the ventilation exchange rate looking like? Etc. And these are the monitors that we have. This is our carbon dioxide monitor for the indoors. It has a battery and it gives you the PPM level of carbon dioxide in your home, folks. Very important. Now, why does Dr. Kai talk about COVID-19 with carbon dioxide? They're coming hand in hand, folks. There's new research that shows the higher the carbon dioxide in the indoor space, the higher the probability of contracting COVID-19. That makes sense because I'm exhaling, it's building up carbon dioxide. I'm also exhaling aerosol humidity that may have pathogens such as COVID-19 and therefore it increases the probability of contracting it from somebody else. You get it folks? That's the relationship. Therefore, many governments and many institutions are legislating, are telling folks you need carbon dioxide monitors in certain situations. And when it goes up above a 
certain threshold, it could be a thousand, twelve hundred, etc. It alarms and you have to open up the window or increase the ventilation to bring in more fresh air. That's the idea. That's the post COVID-19 idea regarding carbon dioxide, folks. It's very, very important. Number three, folks. Number three is particulate matter. Particulate matter. Effectively, particulate matter is dust. It's small size dust that you cannot see with your eye. And we have a particulate matter detector, a dust detector using laser technology to give you the levels of your indoor environment, folks. PM 2.5. The 2.5 stands for the diameter of the particulate, 2.5 micron and below. It's very, very small, folks. And the PM is particulate matter. So PM 2.5 is dangerous. It gets in deep in our lungs and possibly in our bloodstream very dangerous make sure you're tracking your particulate matter indoors and also outdoors folks and and actually epa gives you those numbers for your outdoor environment so dr Goz, what about some other things such as vocs formaldehyde and everything else folks there's another cat and the mold it, it, it keeps going on and on folks you could detect other things that's fine we could be here all day and i could sell more detectors but when it comes to the top three, that's Dr. Kaza's top three air quality target items that you should keep on your radar. Look, have a great day. Watch what you breathe. I love those burgers you're cooking. Have a great day. See you later.